All right, so this is take two. I don't know why nobody just, I don't understand my following. Guys, you should have just told me in chat. Just tell me in chat. Are you ashamed? <laughs> just, just tell me in chat. I went on for three minutes. Why would I check my messages opposed to checking chat? So I'm looking on one corner of the screen. I'm looking on the left side, not the right side, to know that my mic wasn't on. So, yo, this is take two. Yo, listen. <laughs> yo, listen. In this video, we're going to be starting to say, because I'm about to take a break real quick and go head to the restroom. I, I tried for three. I was talking for about four minutes. And I bored that I covered a lot in that four minutes. Um, AW5 Forever, season two. I'm going to give you a disclaimer when I get back because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. But get pre prepared to listen, okay? Yo, listen. This video will feature gameplay and discussions on AEW Fight Forever Season 2. Um, let's see if they put up a trailer yet. If so, I'll play that real quick. So I don't I don't think they put up a, the new trailer yet. They they have been not putting up many trailers, uh period. There is a trailer and there are spotlights and stuff. But um yeah, I will be back in a minute and we will talk more about AW Fight Forever. Just hang tight. Just hang tight. Yo, yo, listen, <laughs> listen. There's also, before I begin this, I want you guys to know if you're not familiar with my ADG Wrestling Sports Games Network channel, you use that hashtag ADGWSGN to get to that channel from me. Tons of sports games on that channel, as well as wrestling games, old and new. Uh, a lot of things are coming, a lot of great discussions like this one that we're doing, about to do right here, right now. Um, a lot of great things going down that channel so uh you don't want to miss anything you know where to go so we're going to discuss in this video the season two pass we're going to discuss the fight forever packs all that we're going to compare to the last season and everything so i thought I'd, it'd be best for me to do a live stream so before i begin yo listen <laughs> yo listen before i begin the discussion this video is not meant to hurt anyone. I'm going to mention people in particular that you guys are going to figure out without me saying their names, even though I'm not saying their names. Um, just to protect myself, I've been, I, I don't get the sniper wolf treatment. By the way, I don't have a problem with sniper wolf uh, that much, <laughs> uh, like some of you guys do. So, knowing that alone, know that this video will not feature opinions of the norm it will not feature uh the thought process of the norm it will not feature simp thinking sheep thinking it will feature thinking outside the norm a little bit more thoughtful a little bit more intuitive and that doesn't mean that i think these people are dumb or anything i just think they didn't think about things in a way that i'm gonna think about 
uh, and they haven't considered the things and that's another reason what this video is for is to make people consider the things that I'm saying I've seen a lot of stress going down my daughter as well over AEW not just just the game but the AEW community has been so negative even Russell talk has been if you're not familiar with Russell talk is a show on YouTube they uh, review and discuss uh, professional wrestling and even they have been very negative toward AEW it's like people have forgotten their love and want for AEW to succeed when this game first came out people were saying that they didn't care about the price they didn't care they just wanted to support AEW what happened to that what happened to wanting to just support AEW now I understand that you don't want to be robbed but see the thing is I don't think they're robbing us $25 and there's people literally getting so upset. People don't even play the game. People don't even have the game installed and they're getting so upset. I get it. Some of us are very hungry for content and you want more than what's been offered. There's so much in AEW and you want that in your game. And it's getting to the point of people getting so mad. But you gotta remember, on top of the ones that would do anything and on top of the ones that will do it just want to support there's a lot of people out there just want to freeload there's a lot of people want things for free they want free to play games they want things free 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 there's a lot of people out there that wants that and that's understandable because sometimes there's a time for free things and there's a time when they're not time for free things and let's start by comparison the two season pass two is 25 dollars this pass is 29 so they realize that they shouldn't charge as much in this pass you got six wrestlers in this pass so far only thing we know is going to get 23 two modes and actually i already know we're getting two arenas i'm going to explain that to you now someone that i watch who's been very negative lately and i hate that he's been very negative and let me take down my thing as well someone who's been very negative very negative in the AEW Fight Forever space. When he was so great, I love him. I have been considering unsubscribing him. He's been so bad lately with the negativity. Even in his latest video when he was saying he wasn't going to do it, he was still pushing a narrative. You know who you are, and I love you. And I wish we could do some content together, okay? You know who you are, man beyond the grave. You know who you are. So, I watched your video, and in your video, I realized... That the storm ain't coming is gonna feature uh winter is coming so we're gonna have the tony storm you know character as well as winter is coming arena in that dlc package i can guarantee you it i've been around the block for a while i know what i'm talking about no this hasn't been actually confirmed by anyone but i'm pretty sure that winter is coming arena is in the storm is coming Okay, two storms in one, capitalizing the storm. There you go. You heard it here. Subscribe if you really trust me on this. If you like what I'm saying, and you ain't done so already, follow and subscribe wherever you're watching this at right now. Or both. So, Mr. Man Beyond the Grave, I should just say his name, but I'm giving him room in case he, you know, I'm giving myself room in case he still gets upset. Or whatever okay so um i learned this because you had a video stating some of the files that were found stage files in that and i think some of these stages will going to be be a part of beat the elite i think this season pass will include some stages will we get collision it doesn't seem like we are but i think this pass is going to include some arena slash stages that we don't know about just yet it may be some of the unlocks would beat the elite who knows but right now that's where i have to get on youths for this because youths and thq should be a little bit more transparent uh, giving us a little bit more information about this and there haven't been much information about this so yeah i do i i don't know what else to say about that you know it's it's, it's kind of upsetting, but it is what it is. And I don't think we should be that mad about it. We should be a little upset, but the, at the 
the way you know things are the way things are I don't think we how can I say it we should be a little upset but I don't think it should be at the level that we are right now that's all I'm trying to say I'm at a loss of words but once again I have a gameplay up on my YouTube channel if you haven't watched it yet uh, maybe consider watching it what's up bitch welcome to the show man welcome to the show so we're discussing AEW fight forever uh, we're comparing the season passes why people shouldn't be that upset I know this is weird uh, that I'm and you know oh man this guy I'm turning off the video listen <laughs> listen there's a reason why I'm saying what I'm saying just open up your minds for a minute if I'm wrong when I'm done say so I think at the least you will think to your, you won't be as angry after watching this video you may be a little bit more understanding you won't think that THQ and Ukes are just trying to get you and they're just doing a bad job because they want to do a bad job nobody in their field wants to do a bad job of what they do a, a cook doesn't want to give you bad food a cook becomes a cook because they want to give you good food now that doesn't say they might walk into the job one day and not want to do it okay <laughs> but usually most of them they overall they want to give you a good experience while they may come in one day and they don't feel like doing the modeling or whatever overall they want to give you a good tony storm character they want to give you a good arena overall they don't want to just no one gets into this just for the money they don't most of them don't i'm not well, i can't probably can't say no but, but i mean go to all the trouble to get their degree and everything to work in gaming just to make a trash game and just to keep the money i mean just think about that just think about it i know some people have already turned off the video but if you're still here thank you i appreciate you listening and everyone else listen listen let's move on to comparing the characters once again you got six in this one and right now we just know we're getting three so they knew you was getting less but maybe they're adding in the stages because they didn't give us stages last time so the arenas may be something they're considering uh i do think though the acclaim pack they pretty much gave you the arena the acclaim for free let me explain it's not free but it's free for those who bought the acclaim so the dynamite arena the new dynamite arena oops <laughs> the new dynamite arena go back to the game huh? the new dynamite arena is free in my opinion for those that purchased it uh because the ftr pack was the same price as the acclaim and you didn't get an arena no one complained about that but i think we're complaining now because it's been so long and um you know it's just it's just it's just been a while it's just been <laughs> it's been a while since this game came out but only it's only been like six months that i also believe that this pass is going to be over with by the beginning of the year i do i believe this is going to be a very short pass ziddy even said that they had already had plans for this pass um before the end of season one and that's what he said i don't know if he's lying but i don't really think he's lying so 25 dollars got everybody riled up and you don't even have to do that i did not buy the season pass you can see but i purchased the pack i wanted the acclaim i messed with the acclaim and um I wanted the new arena. I love the way it looks. We're going to be looking at that in a sec. In fact, I think at this point, I'm going to go ahead and get some gameplay in and talk along the way about things. I think it's more of a comparison thing. So I want to start off by doing individual matches because I already did like a um, matchup. And these uh, models to me are very high quality. Um, the other person that I, I watch him a lot I, I watch you a lot dude mr. beyond the great I watch you a lot that's how I know so much about your channel and I just don't like where you've been going lately with some of your stuff so what I'm hitting it is the arena you had complaints about the arena and the arena itself isn't that bad 
And this game was never about just authenticity in a way. When we first got into the road of this and everybody won in AEW, it wasn't about authenticity, but somewhere along the line, it came about authenticity. I don't understand. I don't understand what happened, but it, it, it got to be about authenticity. This game was meant to be arcade fun, so why does the why do the arenas have to be legit correct? But outside of that, those two side things wouldn't stretch the entire movie. It would have a different Minitron movie on the side. And right now, currently, AEW has about six different Trons, to be honest. But that barricade is pretty much the same. There should be one held a singles match. That barricade is pretty much the same. It may go around a little bit. It may they do have a um. So it's correct. They just not have the mini trons and all the other trons in the game. Yet. Very nice. Very evil. Dan I think this game is still fun. I think the value um, is there if you have the imagination. If you don't have the imagination or you need that universe mode because you're not used to like, I don't know, just thinking things out in your head or whatever. The game already keeps up with your own, um, you know, records, uh, ratings. Uh, they give you a leaderboard to give you a reason to keep trying to put on matches or see how high in the ratings you can go with other matches. That's something that even 2K aren't doing. And I think 2K should. That's something they're not doing. Um, I appreciate the grunts and the artwork that goes behind uh, this burp. And I know some people may say, yo, you chilling, you're so chilling. I see the brand thing on Twitch. And that's because I did get a code. I got a code from Evolve. Half the people at THQ do not even know I got a code. Uh, at one point in time, they put a strike on my channel. AEW now. AEW put a strike on my channel for one of their trailers I had on my channel. And I'm just like, yo, I thought it would be okay. And I really thought it would be okay. I reached out to several people. Nobody never did anything about it. They didn't care to do anything about it. I didn't even mean to go for that. I'm not even gonna think it myself right now. We're gonna get a little gameplay in and then we're gonna I'm gonna recollect my thoughts some more and then we're gonna talk a little bit more. I wanna talk about Max character, which I think looks very good. His moveset is kinda of bled. He's not as fun as Anthony and I thought he would have been the most fun person to use it before. Check some of the taunts here. Oh, oh, don't you curse me. The DH shot there. And also, I do think at, at this point they need to put some things in for free. Okay, I'm not saying there shouldn't be some things for free, but I don't think the um some of these characters should be free there's some saying that or that this thing should be like i heard some people say uh 15.99 it, it should definitely be at least 20 dollars and if it was just 20 dollars it would have been five dollars less i do think people would still be complaining you want to know why because you want them. and that's understandable so of wanting more but trying to cancel the game is where i draw line People are trying to cancel this game. People are trying to cancel AEW, it seems, too. But that's another story, but I don't do that on my channel. I don't that much. Uh, but, um... So it's pretty... It's pretty cool, like, to be honest with you. It's pretty cool. Now, check out this thing. Here 
is your winner, Max Caster. Wow, what an amazing match. And we got to call it. We got to see it. But yeah, they're very fun to use. They're kind of authentic, even though they're not completely authentic. Um, I do think Max's face could have been a little better. But overall, I'm happy with the purchase. Trail dolls. Uh, I mean, I guess for me also, look at that nice little screen. Um, for me, I knew going into it when they said they was going to do DLC releases, that they was going to do it often. I do wish they offered, in a way, these packs $4.99, $5 a pack, which would be a single superstar for $4.99. Instead, they're doing, you know, double packs for $10, $12, and you guys are complaining. Or sometimes less, and you guys are complaining. I don't think their pricing is that wrong. Could it be a dollar too less? Maybe so, but I don't think it's that far fetch where we need to be like praying for the downfall. I just think people have, have realized their expectations of what they expected in this game is not reaching the expectations that are being offered. Let me give me a little something to drink again. The expectations of us being offered are different. And I gotta admit, I was very upset about Stadium Stampede, but <laughs> it can be fun. It's just not what I expected. You know, as a person who prefers sim wrestling more so, at times it's not what I expected, but AEW is supposed to be a different experience anyway. So I told myself that because that's what it was. and. I mean, honestly, I should know it was going to be a different experience, right? A diff I, I think I should have known it was going to be a different experience. All right, now we're going to take a look at Anthony Bowens in the arena. Before we do that, uh, I'm going to shoot the shiz a little longer. <laughs> Anthony Bones is the best looking of the two. He's very uh, charismatic in the ring. He has several voice lines. So those that are wondering about the voice lines that Anthony Bones did. What were these voice lines that Anthony Bones did that uh, Max Caster was talking about? The voice lines were the ones that he put in the game. Okay. I hope people see this video. So please, these things that I'm spitting, these things that I'm talking about, share them. Share them. Uh, make sure this video is being seen by other AEW Fight Forever fans. And AEW Fight Forever fans, I begin this matchup. Do not let people make you feel bad about playing this game. Because I'm telling you, they're about, the, they about the my faction. AEW Fight Forever. They're going to act like it's wrong to be playing it. It's a cash cow. Just like my faction. And they think you're going to be wrong for spending any money in it. But don't be that way. Don't be that way. Should some of this stuff been free instead of part of the season pass? Yes. The Dynamite Arena, any uh, main arenas should be free updates. Any superstars that aren't that big on the roster say if they're going to come out with Brandon Cutler, he should be free. Okay. Um, certain people should be free, a free update from time to time for people that adopted the game. Okay. They should just be free. There should be free characters, I do agree, but not the likes of Jay White, not the likes of Samoa Joe, Swerve Strickland, Jamie Hayter. No, 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 no. Like, if you add Red Velvet in the game, she's a big part of AEW. She's a very good person in the ring, a good person to have in the game to represent AEW product, but she should not be free. So understand I am meeting you guys somewhere, but we getting too upset over $25. A... Season pass, and you're going to compare it to WWE 2K. A season pass in WWE 2K was $40 to $50. They're saying $25 because they know it's less. Let's check out Anthony Bowen. The following Bone. contest is set for one fall. Man, this should be one hell of a singles match. Making his way to the ring, Anthony Bowen. Play. 
and his opponent. Also, for those that are wondering, you don't. Some of those uh, leaks about the extra skins and things are true. The extra shirt of, of the acclaimed, the Wednesday night uh, scissor shirt, Wednesday night or acclaimed shirt. Uh, that all that is included, even if you just buy the, the pack that I bought alone. You'll, you'll see. That. If you wonder about the um, Warlord attire, that was a part of a free update as well to try to update some of the superstars. So hopefully we'll get more of those updates like that because y'all deserve free things. But we can't say that AEW hasn't gave us anything free. It's like we forgot about these uh, attires that came in free in a free patch. How do we forget so soon? That's the size of today. We forget so soon, and it's not fair. It's not right. We should do better. Yeah. And I know y'all think, no, THQ should do better. <laughs> they need to do better. We deserve more in this game. What's in this game? Some people want this game to be reset. It. I do think there is going to be a new AEW game. Can you say it every, not every year? That doesn't mean every two to three years. I think they probably already are working on a new game. They know where they went wrong. I think Kenny knows where he went right and where he went wrong. AEW has invested in epic games and more. They know. They are games. They know. If you think Kenny don't know, Kenny just don't have the time every day to be complaining about, you know, to answer to everything that went wrong. Sometimes things aren't even in his hands. He don't have time to be like on social media. It's answering everybody questions, but we have seen time to time when he does, and like we forgot, we forget about him. I think Kenny look at this like a fighting game, to be honest, because technically it is. Kenny's a big Street Fighter fan. He uh, watches a lot of uh, probably like you know street fighter uh, content you know live streams and things like that he competes in them so he's looking at this i think he's looking at this game as a fight game it has season several season passes like street fighter has several season passes they give away parts etc etc i think in a way kenny is drawing his vision a lot from fighting games and japanese games uh that's so i guess that's why i kind of get them where a lot of people I'm gonna be honest. In the wrestling community, that's all they do. They play wrestling games. Though so some of them are changing, some of them are growing, some of them are tired of playing wrestling games. Like Deontay, for example. Deontay's a tired of playing wrestling games. He said it several times in the video. I haven't even showed you that most of the times. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going even though I'm gonna hit this. But I haven't shown you any signatures or anything. But you can, if, if, I'm gonna hush a little bit so you can hear uh, some of his uh, grunts and stuff. Everyone loves the thing. saying Anthony Bowen is the highlight of this one. I expect a little bit more from Max. One, two, three. And he talks a lot when he's getting hit and damaged up as well. So, but yeah, Anthony Bowen is like crazy. Is this game, man. Anthony Bowen. 
Man, what a match. I'm so glad I was here to call it. They didn't give me that many for what I wanted. So now I got a bunch of money and nothing to do with it. Now that's the issue that we also need to address. Things that we need to be concerned with, which I understand understand people want the creation suite to be updated. We want I think the creation suite being updated would be a huge move. Oh uh, why don't we have superstar threads? Let me go to the custom stuff real quick as well. They gave us a couple of tires, but like I said, they didn't give us, like, we can't just, like, superstar thread some stuff, okay? I'm gonna show you guys the shirt, you know what I'm saying? That's the shirt right there. You can put it on him. There are several shirts in this game that we can't even put on other people, and that's a, another frustration that I do understand. There's Blackpool Combat Club shirts. There's uh, several shirts you can put on Jericho and several superstars in the game. And they're just sitting there and you only allow this set of shirts. What? Unlock those shirts. Like, you couldn't even put this Join the Dark hold the shirt on um, John Silver if you wanted to. You couldn't, you couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. You can put it on, but for some reason, these are set to be put on anybody because there are the unlockables mainly I think except for this one they are the unlockables from the game itself so I can't go in here and say that's how I want to change the appearance of my attire they did add some new weird textures that I would never use but um, they're in there especially if you want to change up the tires on your creative superstar to make them stand out they are in there they probably are in there just for those that purchase the DLC uh, so that's something you can also consider which they should probably mention and give a rundown that's something that I would only probably give to MJF right there I wouldn't give this to anybody I really wouldn't. But also, if you want to change those skin things, they are available now. If you want to do that. And also, eye stuff. But why allow us to do that stuff, but not allow us to change shirts? That doesn't make sense. I think what we're complaining about now, we should be complaining about things that could be easily changed for free. Not the season pass. Though, it would have been nice if they gave us Beat the Elite for free or at a very small price. Or that they gave us... What's the other thing that's in this uh, thing? Some of the arenas that everyone's complaining about. But they didn't. And it would have been nice if we had more wrestlers. But if it was more wrestlers, do you think it would have been $25? Do you think they would have gave us, say, six wrestlers again and say, but this time... We're only going to charge you $15. We're only going to charge you $20. No. I don't know what's going on. Why aren't people thinking? I feel like people aren't thinking. And there's going to be some people mad at me right now about this and try to cancel me. I just, I, I'm willing to take that chance. Because I feel like some people really want this game to work. And I feel like there's some people that really want this game to succeed. And they're just... People are hyping up other people to get more upset. I love Assemble. Yes, I just said his name. But Assemble just posted a video not long ago saying should AEW reset. And like I said a couple minutes ago, no, they shouldn't. They should make a new game right now while updating this game. That's what they should do. Why stop creating for this game if the game was built to be... Uh, updated on if the game was built to be updated for several years to come why well, just stop because some people aren't satisfied with some of the things that's going on they the, people are acting like there's no possibility 
no possibility at all that this thing could be okay soon. I, I don't. I don't know why, but some people are thinking that it's, it's, it's impossible for this game to become fun, even though at the core mode, you really love it. Except some of you do not have it in you to play for that many hours. And I get it. I don't even play online. But I can play for hours or so a day. But I don't play the game every day, though, either. And and that's okay if you don't play the game every day. Does, does the game have to be a game you play every day in order to be a good fun game? Making their does it? Because you don't play the game for four to five hours a day, y'all shouldn't be doing that anyway. You got you should be exploring other things instead of dedicating your life to a game. Though some games require you to do that. That's another story that I'm not gonna do here on in this video on this channel. Beat the Elite mode is repetitive. It is. I said Anthony Bowens, man, is like one of the best characters in the game. I really thought it was going to be Max Cassidy, but it's Anthony Bowens, man. Hands down. <laughs> Like, I don't want to be negative, man, like, the entire time. And I'm not being negative. What I'm trying to do is open people up. To actually, in a way, be a little happy about the season. I'm not saying you got to be dead crazy about the price. But it's $25. It's $25. How many passes or whatever you know are twenty five dollars? Go back to somebody. If, you, if anybody here played Tekken Seven, do you ever remember the first pass of Tekken Seven and how bad bones the one came with like cool mode and some other stuff and some artwork? It wasn't really nothing, but people paid the price, and I think it was around the twenty dollar mark too. People are paying for one skin, and I know this isn't Call of Duty, and you don't want it to be Call of Duty. But people are paying for one skin right now, $20. And y'all don't want to give AEW one of the best, most unique pro wrestling federations on the planet today, $25. They entertain you every week for, kind of for free, I guess. They entertain you every week. These same superstars are getting paid from the checks and the money from this game. From this game, the acclaim is getting the proceed, I'm sure, of the money from this. As well as, you know, the people at THQ. And you don't want to give them $25. Maybe not $25 for some of the other stuff. And maybe they should have added some other things in. I don't agree with all their choices, but at the same token, it's just $25. It's buy it in pieces. Maybe like, oh, okay, you don't want to beat the Elite Mode? Okay, don't buy to beat the Elite Mode. You, you think it was free and you don't, you don't think it, they, they should get your money? Don't give it to them. The way I see it right now, the Acclaim for $11.99, that alone, you might as well go ahead and get it because if you bought the FTR pack, you, you, get, you got less. And you paid for that, so you might as well. Why am I getting beat so hard right now? Oh snap! I got beat. The winners of this match, F.T. Yeah, we need to run a rematch on them. We need to run a rematch on them. Let's run a rematch. If you're in chat, please speak up. We're, we're dead in chat right now. I need to know some opinions. What, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let me pause real quick because my mouth is dry and I need a drink. Um, you guys let me know. Like, what, what, what do you think about anything about this stuff? Like, any questions? Anything? Like, what do you guys think? 
about the mode. I mean, we got 16 people in here just, just like, spying on me. Anything? You got time. I'm pouring some Sprite and mixing it. All right, that's all I got is Sprite here. I thought I had something to mix it with. Anybody? Questions? Questions? In the live chat? I must mainly be on the front page or something. Oh well. No question. Oh, wait. Okay, I got a question. How long do you think that you will play games with the Acclaim? <laughs> in this live stream, you mean? This may be the last one I play in this live stream. But as far as period, um, probably to the end of time, there's no limit on that. Like, like I said, I go in, I play matches. Sometimes I make my own little mini tournaments or whatever, just to see who comes out on top. And if I get to the point I beat, I mean, like, opponent's too much. But right now, I lose them hard a little bit, so I don't worry about it. it Depending on who I'm up against. I like seeing, the reason why I like the stat system, because it's kind of like me simming stuff. I'll see here and I play games, and I'll see who ends up racking in the most wins. If someone racks in the most wins, I give them a title shot and exhibition. It doesn't have to be a universe mode and all that stuff. But technically, even in universe mode, you're kind of like... So even though they give you that occasional repetitive cutscene, you're kind, of like, you're kind of like putting the matches together. And it, it really a bunch of set exhibition matches. that occasionally have a cutscene. Uh, the momentum uh, applies uh, different stats to them or whatnot. But... Outside of that, it's kind of the same. I might not even tag in Mac, but man, poor Max didn't get that much love in his live stream. Why are people so upset with twenty five dollars? That's a good question. Uh, I guess they don't have twenty five dollars. They rather they want to do something else with their twenty five dollars. I think mainly they want to do something else. They want something else with their twenty five dollars. And now they mad. Like, where's Swerve Strickling? Like, that's another big thing. Like, where is Swerve Strickling? Where is Swerve? <laughs> and, yo, I want Swerve. I want Paige. I want Jay White. I want the guns. Man, I want everybody. I want Sky Blue. I want it all. <laughs> and I think that's why some people are saying, or a similar saying, reset. And by the way, I don't hate Sim. I love that. Dude. But, like, I don't agree with this opinion. Um, so, I'm trying to win this. FTR is kind of hard. I'm hard. Oh. Okay. So, uh, yeah, 25 bucks isn't that bad. It ain't that bad at all. But, I don't You don't, but once again, they don't have to pay the 25 right away, or not pay the 25. Because usually, they're gonna beat me again. Oh, usually these bundles aren't that much um, less than purchase them like they used to be. So you're probably gonna spend about three or four more dollars by buying it this way. by buying it piece by piece. So you can buy it piece by piece. Just in case you're not sure about the other things. 
and I don't blame y'all for doing that. That's the same reason I ain't do it. Because I don't I'm not really sure what's going on with the beat the elite mode. I want in a tournament mode and I the funny thing I've talked about this in the Discord. Jesus Christ, this match is crazy. I've talked about this in the Discord and even Ziddy said, Oh, that was a great idea. But still nothing. Just in one. What? Max, where are you going? And also, tag team matches. Like, they need to make it so you can select the other character. I understand that. I don't know. No, I don't understand that. Like, there's so many other things to be upset about that still need changing. They did make it so the CPU partner comes in faster, but it still gets to be a little hard to finish off matches. But this is an all on wrestling game, to be honest. I'm just trying to finish them off now. Come on, Max, let's do this. I mean, Mr. Anthony Bowens. Yeah, boy. Sometimes that move can mess you up because it's so long. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. He's going to make me tap. I need to get in Anthony now. I mean, Mr. Max. Come on, come on, come on. FTR or not. Oh, this has got to be the best tag team match I've had in this game. Funny is between two DLC characters, <laughs> two DLC teams. Well, thank you guys for watching. Thanks to uh, TR Man for uh, speaking in chat to me. He was tired. Here are your winners. Be a player. If you're like me, you are out of breath. What a great match we've had tonight. Six and one, baby. The acclaim gets it done. It was not easy. Uh, yeah, I'm going to end this live stream, but I'm going to be back with a different game. Oh, man, they still didn't beat out a match I had with Britt Baker and Nick Jackson. <laughs> That, I, I, that was a family thing. I can't explain it, but it was a great match. Yeah, it was six stars that match. But we, this was close to being six stars. Maybe we should have had a better pitch. But yeah, 25 bucks, y'all. I want to end this by saying 
let's not cancel AEW Fight Forever. If you want to be upset about a couple of things, that's fine. But to be this angry and to be this upset and just talk with your wallets if you want to. Stop asking for everything free because you just bought the Elite Edition. The Elite Edition only covered Season 1. It's been that way with several games. And if you don't understand this, then maybe you shouldn't be buying anything in the gaming marketplace to begin with until you understand these things a little more. Know what you're getting into. Know what you're buying. I know what I'm getting into right now. So if I considered that when I made my purchase. I didn't buy a season pass. I just bought the acclaim. And there's a reason behind it. Do what you need to do to protect you and what you think could initially make you feel like you've been had. Okay? And that's fine. But all this canceling, all this complaining. Realize this, a lot of these YouTubers, and I hate to say it, I love you assembly, but you know you and others sometimes just make content because you're trying to get those hits. You're trying to live. And negativity, as you said in the Man Beyond the Grace video yourself, people click on negativity more than they click on the positive. So with that being said, I'm done. <laughs> I'll see you guys next show, next video.